Hey guys, welcome back to another Adobe Audition noise reduction video. So this is number three in a series. So if you haven't seen parts one and two, I'll put cards up on the screen so you can check those out. So today what I wanted to cover is the stuff within Adobe Audition that actually uses Fourier analysis, so spectral analysis, to reduce noises within our audio files. So today what we're going to cover is using the spectral frequency display within Adobe Audition. And we're going to use a few different tools in there, a few different methods within there. And we're also going to cover using the sound remover process, which is within that noise reduction and restoration section of our effects suite. Okay, so let's get started here. So I already hit Command I to import my file. Right, so I'm on the import file dialog. And if you have questions about importing files or anything about the basic process here that I skim over, I would definitely recommend checking out that first video in the noise reduction video series that I'm doing here on Adobe Audition. And I'm just gonna pick this guitar with cough file for my first example. And just keep in mind, if you want these files to practice at home with, they are available to my Patreon patrons. So you can check that out at patreon.com slash So I'm just gonna import this file. And here it is. And so the issue with this file is that we have a cough that's almost 10 seconds into the music. So you guys hear that cough. So that's what we're gonna be removing here. Okay, and so since we're doing noise reduction with spectral analysis, we're gonna wanna swap into what's called the spectral frequency display in Audition. So the way we can do that is we can hit Shift D or we can go up to view and check off where it says show spectral frequency display. And so once we do that, we can see the spectral analysis here for the track that we're looking at. So I'm just gonna drag this out so we can see it better. It's kind of pretty, huh? Okay, and I'm just gonna click where I think the cough is. And then I'm gonna zoom with the plus key, right? So we can do plus or minus when we're in audition to zoom. So I'm just zooming in on this section right here. And then if I listen, yeah, so that's what I thought. So this here is the cough. So the more you do this type of work, the easier you'll find it is to spot certain things just by looking visually at a waveform or at spectral analysis. So I kind of just looked at this and decided that this section here is what I thought the cough was. And I was right, it worked out. So we found the cough. We've spotted it visually. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit B and that's just a switch to this tool right here. So you can also click here to select this tool. So it's a spot healing brush tool. So you'll see how this kind of mimics visual programs. So if you look at this circle here where my cursor is, that's showing us how wide the actual tool is. So we can adjust that size here. So we can move it up and I might actually move it up until it's about the width of this cough here. Almost. Cool, so you can adjust the size of this tool by going to the size parameter here. And just keep in mind, if I were zoomed out more, I would probably want this tool to be smaller. And so it's gonna depend on how far you're zoomed in or out, and it's gonna depend on the actual sound that you're removing. But just adjust that tool to the appropriate size for what you're doing. Cool, so once you have your tool ready, all you have to do is just click and drag. So I'm clicking, I'm holding my click, and I'm just dragging over the actual cough to get rid of it. And then when I release the click on my mouse, it's gonna auto heal it. So it looks great, right? So now if we listen, that cough is now gone. I'm just gonna hit Command Z here so we can see the difference. And then I'm also gonna show you guys uh, what I would probably do here. So I just zoomed out a bit, the cough's right here. And I did that because I wanted to show you another function really quick. So basically, you might notice that you know sounds are within the time realm. So for example, you'll see the sound starting at the same exact time for all the different frequencies of the sound. That makes sense, right? So you'll probably find when you're using this tool that you wanna drag up and down a lot, right? So up and down in a straight line specifically. So what you can do if you wanna drag in a straight line is you can just, hold shift and then drag and even though you might move your mouse from side to side a little bit by accident it's going to keep you going in a straight line so that's that how to remove a cough so basically you always want to check and make sure that it, you removed it it doesn't sound funny after the removal so just play it back make sure it sounds good and then export as usual so that's that technique cool so let's import another file so i did command i i'm going to pick guitar this time 
And so on this one, the issue that we're going to be removing is just a little too much sound of the actual guitarist's fingers on the guitar. And that's going to be around here on the timeline. And just remember, you can do Shift D to turn on and off the spectral display. And I like having it really big on the screen. That's why I stretched it out. But I'm just going to hit play here so we can hear the actual sounds. So what we're going to remove here is this really quick finger sound here. So that, that one. OK, so what I'm going to do for this is I'm going to show you a different tool. And that's the lasso tool, which is right here. But you can also just hit D to select that lasso tool. And then just like with the other one, we're just going to click to get rid of the sound. So here it is. And we're just going to lasso that. We don't want to take too much out. And then we're just going to hit delete. And then we're going to listen. So that sounds pretty good. I didn't cut too much into the existing sound, but I got out a good amount of the actual finger sound that we didn't really need in there. So I might mess with this more, take out a little bit more or something. You know, it depends on what I'm working on, what I'm mixing it with, stuff like that. You know, if I was actually doing this for a project, I might take a little bit more care with it before deciding that it's done, but that's pretty good, I think. So that's another way that you can remove sounds within Audition, right? Using the lasso tool. So we got this spot healer, we got the lasso tool. Let's look at another thing really quick. So I'm just going to close this out. I'm going to go to import. And I'm just going to select crackles here. Sorry, guys, my voice is kind of going here. Again, shift D to show spectral. And so in this one, there are just some crackles in the actual music. So I'm just going to zoom into the beginning. You can actually see them here. So you might notice the crackle here on the actual waveform. That might be a familiar thing to you if you've been doing audio for a little while. But then we can also see it here on our spectral view. So we're just going to listen. So there's our crackle. So I just wanted to show you guys how we can go back to the first tool that we used and just use it for a tiny little less organic sound, right? So I'm going to make my width here. about the right width for this. And then I'm gonna hold shift and do the same thing that I did with the other sound. Zoom in a little bit more. There we go. So it's now gone. That's pretty cool, right? And you can kind of see some remnants of it up here at the top. But I mean, if it's gone, if you're not hearing it anymore, or even if you're hearing that a little bit, if it's not going to show in your mix, then it might be okay like that, right? It's all about what you're mixing it into, what you're using it for, what the actual goal is here. But that's just another way that you can use the spot brush, right? Just a slightly different type of sound. Okay, so I'm going to close this. And I'm going to import this one. Open. Okay, and this is one of my favorite ones to do and to show people and to show my students because we're actually going to be removing a really specific sound from the file, and that's going to be the kick drum. So you could use this to remove something like a kick drum from a whole entire file. So if you're working and you're doing something like messing around with samples and there's something in it that you don't want, you can use this technique to remove that one thing and keep the rest of it. Cool, so I'm going to find a kick drum that's isolated here. So this will be the kick drum that we're going to work with. So I'm just going to hit E to select my marquee tool, which is also right here. So I'm just going to go down here and actually just select that kick drum or most of it, right? There we go. So once it's selected, we're going to go to effects and then we're going to find our noise reduction and restoration section. Oop. And we're just going to go to sound remover. So now I'm going to tell it to learn the sound model just like we did with the other processes in the previous videos, except this time instead of learning the broadband noise that we selected in time within the previous ones, it's going to learn this sound model based off what we just highlighted. Cool, so now it learned the sound of that kick drum and it's going to try to remove anywhere that that kick drum appears within this file. So I should be able to go anywhere within this file and hit play, and it's going to remove the kick drum. Cool. So I might move this up and then tell it to learn the sound model again. 
and it'll change the sound slightly. So you can kind of decide what scope, what area you want to select in order to determine what to remove. But then you can go into here with these parameters and you can increase the complexity a little bit and hear the, how that affects it. We can enhance for speech if it's speech. I'm not going to do that because this is not speech. But um, yeah, you can basically mess with these parameters. So you can kind of see how it works here. And if I want to toggle this off to hear the original, compared to my new version, I can do that. So basically, once I have it how I want it, you can just mess with these parameters however you want. And it's going to depend on what you're doing and what kind of effect you're going for, right? But basically, once you have it how you want it, you can then hit Command A and then listen. So that's with it. I'm just going to go back to the beginning so you guys can see. And then without it. Right, so that has the kick. And that one does not, so it's pretty cool. So once you have it how you want it, you can then just hit apply, just like with our other noise reduction processes that we did before in the other videos. And then you have your file minus the kick drum, right? So it's kind of a fun effect that you can do to mess with an existing track. And then you would just export it as usual, how I showed you in the other videos. So yeah, that's basically it. My computer sounds like it's about to take off and launch and it's like really hot right now. Yeah, so that's basically it. So I hope you guys found this useful. Let me know what you think in the comments below as usual. And if you liked this video, please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel. Uh, apparently I'm supposed to tell you guys to hit the little notification bell if you wanna be notified whenever I come out with a new video. So you can do that if you want. And I also have a Patreon. So it's patreon.com slash Noise. And my patrons have access to these audio files so that they can practice at home. And there's also a whole bunch of other additional content that my patrons have access to on Patreon. So if you're interested in that, then go check that out. It's patreon.com slash Noise. So yeah, thanks for hanging out with me. And I'll be coming out with new videos every Wednesday. And thanks for watching. Okay. My laptop gonna explode. Okay, that's that.